Allah loves you. And you're a Muslim. And you are beautiful. You are smart. You are intelligent. You are brave. You are forgiving. You are loving. You are well-mannered. You're a Muslim. You should be a person that when you walk into a room, everyone smiles because they're so happy you just walked in. Carry a positive vibe with you. Be a good person. That's how you connect with Allah. Not only in the masjid, not only when you're reading the Quran, you can be an inviter to the deen wherever you go. Just fix your personality. Look for those diseases within your heart. What's your issue? Identify them. Work on them. You want to be successful? Obey Allah and obey the Rasul. Follow the mannerisms, the, the ethics the emotional intelligence, the adab, the manners, the characteristics with which the Prophet guided you, you can't help but be successful. And the greatest success as described by Allah and His Prophet, the one who traverses over Jahannam and enters Jannah, indeed he is successful. This life is a life of what? Tests and trials. You can't expect to have a life that is going to be filled with flowers and bliss and no, they are trials and tribulations. Right? The most severely tested people are who? The prophets, those like them and then those that are like them. One is tested in accordance to how much he adheres to his religion. The Prophet says, beware of ghadab. Beware of this thing that will make you ugly, that will make you sick. This want of revenge, this want of getting back at someone. It's going to make you sick. And then he describes it as a burning lump of coal. It's this burning lump of coal inside of you that burns inside the heart of the son of Adam. These are very profound words. What is inside our hearts? Inside our hearts is gratitude. Inside our hearts is patience. Inside our hearts is Iman. Inside our hearts is all the good things that Allah wants to have in our inside of a human being belong inside the heart of a human being. If there's a lump of coal burning inside your heart, what's happening to all of those things? They're burning away. All the good that's inside your heart is getting burnt away by anger. He says, watch out for anger, it can burn everything else down. It'll tear everything else apart inside your heart. Never give up on dua. Nothing is impossible for Allah. When Allah promises you something, there's no doubt. Yes, it's His timing, not yours. You might make a dua say, but Allah's not hearing. Don't even think that. Allah will give you when the time is right. Every minute of delay is an absolute blessing. I want to be free. I want to be able to do whatever I want. I want to have whatever relationship I want with as many people as I want, whenever I want. I want to eat whatever I want, drink whatever I want, consume whatever I want. I want to make money however I want, spend it however I want. I don't want to be tied by anything. I don't want to be tied by expectations to a family or to God or to anything else. When you are open and free like that, you think that you have saved yourself from loss. Like you're not missing out on life. And the, the language of Allah Azza wa Jal, He says, Ula'ika? Those people, they're the ultimate losers. They think they're winning. They think they just freed themselves and the world just opened up to them. They're the ultimate losers, subhanAllah. A guy, the most beautiful of guidance is handed to them, but they, they don't want anything to do with this relationship.